Okay, friends, here we go with number 23 of our 24-minute workouts. 24, 24-minute workouts. Um, version 3.0, we've done this three times. We're approaching the end of this one. Great job for all of the work. This is going to be a cardio toning. So, a little bit into the heart rate, a whole lot into the toning and the contraction in the muscles so we feel it. Yes. Inhale, lift up. Now remember, I gotta go through these warm-ups a little quickly. If you feel like you need more of a warm-up, by all means, take it. And I don't put music in the background, so you feel free to find your favorite playlist and have it cranking in the background if that's what you need. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good, so we're gonna have a little plie move here. We're just gonna tap to the side to start with. So a little squat into the feet or into the legs, and a little tap with the feet. That's what we're doing. Good. And then we can just press the hands down so we get a little upper body work in there. Tap and tap, press and press. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna add a little squat and press back with the arms. Bring it forward, press it back. Forward and back. So. As we've done with the others of these, this will be an interval style workout. You have 40 seconds to work, 20 seconds to rest. You jump back in as you need. If you feel like during that 40 seconds you need every other rep, then that's what you take. Perfect. We're gonna come to a little side lunge, lift off, side lunge, lift off. Option, just press into the toes. Good. Four, three, two, one, then switch sides. We lunge, press off, lunge, and press. Lunge, and press. Four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna have some arm circles right here. We're just gonna make them really big. Really big arm circles to start with. Up, back, and around. Nice circles. <sighs> Good, change direction, bring it forward. Harder to work out in a sweatshirt, but it's starting to get a little chilly. Bring it forward. Good. Oh, shake out through the shoulders. Good. Little squat, lift. Squat, lift. We can speed that up as we need. Drop, lift. Good work. Now, just a little march. Nice little march in place. So, in about 45 seconds, we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with a wide plie, and we're gonna bring the pelvis straight down and straight up. So upper body just down and up. Good, you can take a deep inhale here and an exhale if you need. Just breathing. Good, start to shake out the legs. So when we come into a wide plie position, my feet are wider than my hips. Pelvis tucks under slightly. And I wanna make sure I'm sliding straight down and up. So notice the knees go at an angle, upper body is straight up and down. Brace through the core, nice and lifted. Here we go, drop and lift. So I'm using inner outer thighs to lift straight up. Drop, lift, drop, lift. Down, lift, if you choose. Drop and lift, drop and lift. So we're really working right through the legs. So even as I drop my arms down, the upper body stays stacked. Drop, lift, knees and toes out, down, up, 10 seconds. Down, lift. So a little plie squat here. Still getting warm, you don't have to go very fast. Release, shake out the legs as you're ready or as you need. Feet in that turn 
We call this a turnout position. The feet are turned out from the midline. Knees are, or feet are wide enough that the knees aren't coming past the toes. Here we go. Down, lift, down, lift. Right here, if you need. Right here. So I can slow it down. I can speed it up wherever you need it. Pace is not as important as the consistency and the proper execution. Squeeze the thighs, drop. Squeeze as you lift. 10 seconds. Drop, lift, drop, lift. We got it. One more. Keep the legs there if you need to, or shake out. Just one more set, okay? If you feel like you're getting warmer, then you can drop deeper into that little squat. You can stay up higher if you need. Knees and toes out. This is our final set. Make sure knees pull out towards the little toe. Drop, lift, down, up. So I like the plie squat because it works everything from the hips down Really feeling a lot through inner outer thighs, quadriceps and hamstrings, glutes are working. We're relaxing into the feet, but we even have some work down into the calves. Drop, lift, drop, lift. Five seconds. Good, one more. Drop, lift. Good, shake out. All right, the next one we're gonna come into we're gonna have the feet narrow. Now you can hold onto a chair or something if you need to. I'm gonna tap, 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 lift, bring the leg back in. Right side, here we go. Small tap, 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 lift, bring it in. Tap, 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 lift, bring it in, okay? So I'm just tapping my way out, lifting off and coming in. Lift. So a little tap, a little bigger, bigger, biggest, draw in. Good. Keep this standing leg soft. That means there's a very small bend in the knee just so it doesn't lock out. And if you'll notice, I'm trying to keep my shoulders good. Rest right over my hips. I'm not leaning to pick the leg up. Okay? I want everything stacked. And on that lift, it's just a small lift up. All right, we're gonna come into the other leg. Tap, 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 lift. You can walk it out. You can just tap three times right here. Here we go. Tap, 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 lift, and then draw in. Tap, 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 lift, in. Good. Lift, in. So when we start to tap out, step out just a little bit, I start to contract through the leg muscles a bit more. Out, 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 lift, and in. That prepares me for that lift off. Tap, 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 lift, one more. Woo, woo. All right, we're gonna do one more set of those. So technically, you have four full sets, but that's okay. You can do this. Remember, there's that little rest, that pause in between, okay? We've got it. Good, nice and strong. Right leg, here we go. Tap, 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 lift off, pull in. Tap, 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 lift and pull in. Good. So always, no, it is okay to use something for balance. Always know that if your movements are not as big as mine, that's okay. If your moves are bigger than mine, that's okay. You have to keep it in that range where you can control it. Lift and down, one more. Up, oh, shake it out. That standing leg gets a lot of work too. Lots of support that it has to give us. Good, other side. 
less it on this. So contract through the core, always, always, always. Even when I don't tell you to crack, contract and hold in through the core, you do it anyway. All right, here we go. Tap, 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 lift, pull in. Out, 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 lift, pull. Nice work. Breathing, tap, lift off, pull in. So we want lots of contraction. We want to feel that that leg is having to work. If it feels like the leg weighs 100, 200, 300 pounds, oh, when you're lifting up, that's okay. Relax. It doesn't. But it feels super heavy. Good, relax out. All right. This time we're gonna come into a narrow squatting position. We're gonna bring the arms out to the side and right back down. Here we go. Squat and lift, squat and lift. Good. Lift to the side. I'm gonna change the arms on each one of these sets. Here I want you to think of lifting like you have weights, straight out to the side, back down, out and down. Just bringing the arms no higher than shoulder height. They can come lower if needed, but no higher. Drop and lift. And as we get into these squatting positions, heart rate should come up a little higher. That's where we get that toning. One more, lift and lower. All right, we're gonna stay in a narrow squat, but this time, arms come in and press straight back, okay? So when I come in, lift right here. Nice and strong, breathe. Here we go, curl the arms, press them back. Curl and press. So as I press back, that should cue my body to contract everything through the back side a little bit more. That goes through the glutes, through the back, through the shoulders, drop, press. And then as I start to do that, I have the front of the body, abs, quads, start to contract a little more. One more. Shake it out. Beautiful work. <sighs> the uglier it feels, the more beautiful the work has been. I promise. Better results, okay? So just think, there's beauty in there. Absolutely. All right, we're coming into the squat. This time, press the arms back, lift out to the side and down. Straight back, lift up and down. So, like I was skiing downhill and I was trying to push my weight forward, lift. I know it's a downhill ski, but does anybody ski uphill? Like you can climb up the hill, but can you technically ski up the hill? I don't think so, but I'm not gonna claim to be a ski expert. Lift, gotta shake it out. Okay, we're gonna come back into the legs. We're gonna add a little bit through the arm. So we're going to come into that side lunge to the right side, lift up. So we add the arm in if you need. I can hold on here. I can bend both knees to squat and lift with the arm. Okay, down, lift, or I can keep the legs straight and lift off. So notice these movements are not super fast. Drop and lift. I want to have consistency in my movement. I want it to work, but I have got to have control. Drop and lift. Modification. You can come to a squat and lift here or a squat and straighten. Okay? Lift. Perfect, rest that side. We're gonna come into the other side. As we 
work these bigger leg muscles. That should get the heart rate up. That's your cardio part of it. Mostly toning. Cardio. Ooh, getting a little breathless. Yes. All right, left side lunge. Here we go. Down, lift off. Press off, and then again, notice I'm trying to keep my shoulders stacked over my hips, and I'm not trying to lean to the side here. I hope you can see that okay with the sweatshirt. Like I said, it was a little bit chilly this morning. Out. Drive. Good. One more. Curl. Lift off. All right, one more set on each leg. Take it where you need to, modify as necessary, okay? So when I talk about modify, maybe it's a squat and a lift right here instead of a lunge and a lift off. Be kind to your knees, be kind to your balance, where you need it, right side. Down, lift. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you are breathing through all of these. Lift. Nice work. Strong, strong. Control the movement. You do not have to push off if that compromises form. When we get tired, our form is compromised. Lift, shake it out. One more set to the left side, okay? So when I talk about a compromised form, if I'm kind of flailing, flinging, then I'm compromised. That happens when we get tired, so decrease the range. All right, that left lunge, here we go. Lift, curl, lift. Breathing. Our breath can energize us through the workout. Lift. Lift. Sometimes we start to get breathless, but if you will, when we're doing something like this, mixing a little cardio and some toning, try to control the breath a little bit more. You're gonna be breathless. You're gonna breathe faster but focus your breath in, out, in, out. One more. All right, we're gonna give those legs a little bit of a break. We're gonna come into the arm circles because we want the upper body, the back, shoulders, arms, nice and strong. So we're gonna press the arms out to the side. We're gonna circle forward, forward, good. Nice circles. Good, we have the hands flexed, just so the fingers are pointed up toward the ceiling. Circle, circle. Good. The arms start to get very heavy again. Okay, it's a longer lever with the arms out to the side. I have to work harder to keep them up, especially the higher I have them lifted and the straighter they are out to the side. So we're going no higher than shoulder height. If you happen to be lower, rest, that's okay. If you feel it and it feels like, oh, they're super heavy down here, it's fine, okay? You got it. We're gonna come into another set of arm circles, but we're going to circle back. Yes. All right, here we go, circle back. And the circles are as big or as small as you can control. Good. You got this. Nice work. Nice work. Rounding through the shoulders. Relax through the jaw, through the neck as much as you can. If you feel like you need to bring the arms down for a second and then join back in, you can. We have 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Oh. Got it, you got it. And release. Just a hug. Good job. All right. We 
we're going to have a, just a little one minute challenge here. We're going to come into a small squatting position. I'm going to circle the leg around. Circle the leg around like I'm drawing a circle on the ground. We're going to start right leg. Circle. Circle. You don't even have to go 40 seconds. You're doing 30 seconds on this leg. You're doing 30 seconds on the other leg. It's just a little one minute challenge. Oh, you never knew. One minute could be so challenging. Good. Circle. Circle. Five seconds here. Go ahead and switch legs if you need the extra time. Here we go. Switching now. Circle around. Circle. I'm trying to draw a circle on the floor. Now, if you're doing this on a carpeted floor, you might need to pick the foot up more and let it hover. That's okay. Don't let yourself get tripped up. Ten seconds. Circle around. Circle. 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 One more second. Oh, good job. Shake out. Now all we have to do is stretch and cool down. Oh, and breathe. Catch our breath. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Nice work. That was 23 of our 24. Again, you can do this in any order that you want to. There's three sets of these now. So you can mix and match which number, you know, you can do number one from this set, number 10 from that set, number 23 from whichever set, okay? Good. We're just going to shift side to side. Oh, a little press back. My hope was to give you enough that you can mix and match the workout. And I realize they're the same workout since it's just on a video. But you can mix and match so that you don't feel like every day or every week you're doing the exact same workout. I tried to vary things. So I mixed up a little cardio, a little toning, some upper body, lower body strengthening whole body toning, and then stretching as well. If you feel like you want to take all of your cardio in one week, and then you need a recovery week with some toning and some stretching, then that's what you can do. Okay, good. Shake out through the shoulders. Find something to balance with, and then we're going to grab one foot, draw your knees together, and tuck your pelvis forward. Now, as far as the strength goes, I would leave a day in between those. It's very hard on the body if you do strength training every day of the week consistently. Give yourself a little break in there to recover. So if you're doing just strength for one week, then you can switch sides. Um, you may do it every other day instead of every single day. And you also have other videos outside of the 24 minute workouts that you can throw in as well. Slow release. We're going to cross the leg behind and lift up and over. And the last little bit on this 24 minute workout. You're going to hydrate yourself. Switch sides. 24 ounces in the next two hours. And make sure you're getting plenty of water. Think about that through the day. The body just needs water to process. Inhale. But especially if you're taking any vitamins, any medications, you want to make sure that you have plenty of water so that those can work properly. Excellent job, my friend. There's your cardio toning. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.